Can't say I was necessarily a fan. Uh, I had seen them open for the Dead Kennedys, and the uh, response to the audience, people were really into them. They're really getting a kick out of them, and I think that's what really sold me on them. Yeah, of, of having them on the show because people seem to really be excited by them. I'd like to greet the Beastie Boys. They played like, like a hardcore type of thing on the show, but when, during breaks and when they were rehearsing, they were rapping. Wait, did you turn off the monitors when we started playing? Did you, did you turn off the monitor when we started playing? Because I couldn't hear it anymore. I know, but when they're all playing, I can't hear it. That's the problem. That's life.
Introduce yourself. Left. My left. Uh, <laughs> my name is Adam. As it says on my belt. And I'm Get a shot of Adam's belt if you can. And, and the ripping his jeans. And I just um and I just messed up the last song, so I apologize. Yeah, to everyone. yeah Adam messed up the last song. Like somebody who admits it. Wait, wait, what about me? Uh, uh, my turn. Me, it's me, my me, show. Me. I get to speak. Right. No, I got my mic. See, I got a little he's mic. Got, he's on the mic. He's on Adam's loud to mess up this show. But whatever. Yeah, we want some of the... All right, send them to us in the mail. You have a Beastie Boys show, you have your own mic. Yeah, yeah, so, so I'm Michael. I'm in the Beastie Boys. So I tell them at the door, at uh -huh. the clubs, they let me in. For free? Because I'm in the Beastie Boys. Yeah, they sorry. let you for free? Because they all know Kate. You were in the they let me free. Uh, no, they know us. They know us. You look too old. No, so yeah, so kids. I'm in the Beastie Boys. I've been, oh, I've been oh, doing this. I'm, I turned 18 recently. Yeah, 18. It's a good age to turn. Oh. Uh, is that sweet? Look at that face. That's adorable. I'm not going to hit yeah, you. Yeah, I don't, I don't shave yet. Kate doesn't either, but they both do. Yeah. All right, let's and get to the older so member. So now, now we're going to get to an older, more mature member. Give us your name. My name's Ad, but you can call me Adam. <laughs> and uh, just Adam. hanging out here on TV. You know, your basic stuff. And, and who's your friend here? What, what does that say? Wait, you know, get, get a shot really of that. a good show when I used to host it. Wait, hold on. Get, get a shot of that. <laughs> hey, who's, who is this man? Who, yeah, who is wait, now, come on. Talk about yourself. Well, I'm Scott, and I was born uh, June 11th, 1957. Scott, Scott, and, Scott, and, and this is my show, Gary's Somewhere Out There. If you turn around, if you're at home and you turn around and look behind you, Gary would be there if he was in your house. But he's not, so he's here, so he's no. behind you. Gary. Okay. Gary. Yeah, Gary's a crazy guy. Okay, Kate. I have to put my jewelry back on, and then I'll introduce yeah. myself. Okay. Go, keep talking about yourself, oh, Mike. Yeah, yeah. And I'll ask Wait, you some Kate, serious no, questions. You never talk about yourself. Tell us this about is your age. Me. My name is Kate. I just turned 18. I'm a Capricorn, and I have lint in my pocket. If anybody wants a date with Kate, just call us. We'll get in contact with you. Five bucks. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'd like to say right now that I bomb insides, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm king of the ones. How old are you? About 13, 14? About. <laughs> about <yeah. laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that next. That was my next guest. Um, well, you might ask me that. Well, she's yeah, bit, but, um, that little what I like about this episode in particular is that I, I felt incredibly tall. <laughs> Should we keep talking? Or we, we have, oh, we're cutting? What? Do whatever I want. Thanks. You're the boss. Yeah. <laughs> Make it I just went now. All of you go to different schools, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. except for me, I just recently took time off. Oh, <laughs> leave of absence. Elevate. Yeah. Okay. What schools do you all go to? Because there's something I want to lead up to. Uh, I go to Brooklyn. Oh, 
go to Hunter College. Yeah, Hunter College. A center for great learning. On 68th Street and Lex. And wait, it has like a Let sky bridge across like Lexington. No, me. Oh, yeah, Adam, Adam. Lord College. <laughs> wait, my turn. Here, I go. I went to Vassar College. Yeah, Vassar. No, I took an LFA. I like, I like to say that I go to City As High School, home of the KGB Toys, and uh, that's where I go. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, I'd like to thank Beastie Boys. We're going to come back and hear some more music from them. But now we have a very special feature on the Scott and Gary Show. A lot of people have been wanting more and more and more. We're going to give them more and more and more. Flying Man. Were you fans of the Butthole Surfers? I mean, you, and was this their first tour to New York? Yeah, this is the first time they came to New York. I, was, I, I got the EP. Uh, the first one has the black and white cover with a misshapen body, and I, I just thought they were great. I thought it was the wall of stuff. We'd like to introduce to you the Butthole Surfers.
I'm gonna regret here. Before the show started, they said, you know, we're going outside. We've got to, we've got to drop some acid. So they went ahead and did it. And said, okay, just be back. Just as long as you can do your show, and we've got five minutes, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go in the air. And... I'd like to uh, speak to the butthole surface for a minute, if everybody's dressed and ready. Come on, guys. <laughs> Gibby, you'll be ready in a few minutes, won't you? Whoa! Now, wait a minute! Girls, close your eyes. We're going to have a little interview here. Can we sit down? Is it okay if we sit down, everybody? Gary, nod your head. Can we sit down? Anybody Let's got sit down. a cigarette? Okay. Sure, I've got a cigarette. Okay. Terrence, give me a hand here. I've used condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I love meeting the big stars. <laughs> Well, about big stars and they're fucking up bad. No, you guys aren't fucking up bad. I've used condoms. He said that before, didn't he? Well, I was just wondering, I'd like everybody, when I speak to them, to speak into the mic, to give us your names and what high schools you go to and how no old you way, are. No way, no way, dude, no way. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> My name's King, I'm 42, I'm a retired bricklayer. My name is Teresa, I'm 60, I'm a secretary. <laughs> My name is Gibby, I can't think of anything funny to say. Gibby's a great guy. He can be funny, though, sometimes. Gibby, he's used condoms, too. Oh. Okay, you want to... I'll use two condoms. <laughs> Teresa, you want to hold on to that? Hold it. Here's yeah. my mole. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Quiet, 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 quiet. We have, to, we have to hear this. Oh, wow. That was great. That was great. I know what it was. Okay. Well, Gibby's walking around. Ooh. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Who likes feedback here? Anybody like feedback? Yeah. I was wondering, where you guys are from? Because I know you're not from Brooklyn. around here. Brooklyn? From Brooklyn? No. <laughs> up your ass. Up my ass from up. Ah, that's the pain I've been having of late. <laughs> man, I swear I'm bummed, man. All what? my things. Why are you bummed? Uh, is that your suitcase? He's got lots of things. Oh. Oh, is that sweet? You could wash your clothes and hang them from his nipple now. I was wondering. Turn that down, all right? Well, since it's a live TV and like our bass amp was screwing up, and it's not working. Screwed up. No, it's not, it didn't screw up. It's, it's not working. The amp has stopped working. Everything. Happened. You know, I had a real funny little opening I was going to use with you guys. You're I was going right. to say. You're really all right. Yeah, I know. Some You're people right. think so. I was going to say I wanted to shoot the breeze or break some wind with the butthole surface. Not, not everybody can think of that. Only Scott Lewis can. We did eat beans last night. Does anybody have a lighter? No. Uh, now. I was wondering, do, does everybody here in the band, band, yeah. does everybody here write the songs, or is it just like individual efforts? Some uh, underwear. Please, somebody want to answer that, please? Yeah, that's good to have you back here, yeah, guys. Do you want a microphone? I got yeah, one. Say this. My song. bloody underwear I've misplaced. It's a drag. Oh, Lord. Oh, don't man, worry about really the underwear. It's part of the show, man. That's a bummer, man. The whole thing's like falling apart. You like, might man. see his weenie before it's all over. No, 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 no. You don't want to see that, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Towards the end. Do you notice that my feet match his here? Is that great? We... Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> we worked that out before the show. I just didn't know. <laughs> now, as back to my first question, which oh, will sure. probably be my we'll only question. Be as as okay, this is a very serious problem. Who 
writes most of the material here for the band? Uh, I notice I write the songs to make the whole world sing, and songs that have sold millions. You must be Julio Iglesias. That's right, man. I am Julio Iglesias. Good answer. Good answer. Five points for Gibby. Oh, is this the Ian Curtis game? <laughs> no, I was wondering. I'm glad y'all are having such a good time tonight. Is everybody having a good time here? Oh, yeah! Where else can you see the butthole service but the Scott and Gary show, right? Yeah! Uganda, is that? Like Uganda. That. We've got $100 for the person in the studio audience who can guess what brand of condom we use. Ramsey! <laughs> God. <laughs> it, was like, it was a joke, man. I'm sorry. Okay, my other question was... We should even have $100. A lot of your songs, a lot of my songs, a lot of your songs deal with like... Deal with what? Go ahead. They deal with Frustration, that. violence, rage. I want to know. Are those from personal experiences? All of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, Bob. All of them. Scott, Scott. Okay. Name's Scott. It's okay, sorry. Bob. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Honest mistake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, violent, violent experiences. I was in a car wreck a couple of years ago. Really? I woke up. Was it a head first injury? <laughs> it was, as a matter of fact. You want to check it out? I got a scar. Can you see that scar up there? Wow. wow. I see wow. some, I see I, some, some of this too. crawling around in there, but I don't like, see it. I just removed some glass just like about a year ago and it happened three years ago. Yeah, that's work. You're Gary, right? Or are you Scott? Scott. Okay, Scott. Kick ass. You're real nice to give me his... Show you his mole. You Show it to us. Yeah, Where is it? That, that proves I'm nice, right? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you're very nice. Um, <laughs> oh. Now from here, now right now this show is taped in New York City. It's my aunt. But the buttholes are going to be traveling on and we're going to ask the buttholes <laughs> where they're traveling on to because we can't wait for them to leave now. <laughs> Where are you guys going to next? Oh, you're everyone always asks that question. Your ass, we're going to go back over to Brooklyn. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go see the Frightwig show. Really? Yeah, yeah over at uh, Covering my mouth. Or Husker Du, yeah. Where's your little doggy? They brought their dog. What oh, dog? Oh, fucking Farner. Let's go get Farner. Hurry up. Come on. Come on, Gibby. Come on, Gibby. Go, Gibby. Go, Gibby. Come on, Gibby. Come on, Gibby. Uh, Teresa. <laughs> Where's the dog? Oh, Teresa. Uh, fuck well, the dog. Well, <laughs> well, what you would have seen if Farner was here. You would have seen a brown dog come walking into the room. I would have made a few jokes. I would lift up her tail. A piece of dog food would have dropped from underneath her tail, and she would have turned around and eaten it. She would have. And it, it would have been funny. It really would have. It, wow. And you think, uh, you think only watching Channel 13 or public broadcasting, you get shows about animals, right? You figure that right here. I was wondering, Teresa, yes? don't your parents worry about you hanging out with these guys? I know, if you were my daughter, I would beat the hell out of you for doing it. They're, they're womblings. She's okay with that. They're womblings. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a touchy true. subject here. Our parents Shh. don't mind at all. They don't? No. Teresa and I come from the same womb. Were you in the army? Yeah, I was in the army. Wow, what, tell me which one was your commander? The Salvation Army? Up your ass. That's the General up your ass. What are you saying in English vocabulary? It's just incredible. Um, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Now. College graduates for nothing. You are all like been to the college and stuff. That's what. Oh, oh, wait, I got, I got a question. I must ask Gibby this. I heard. Here's the lighter. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I heard that you gave up a lucrative. I actually read you gave up a lucrative job with the Texas accounting firm. No, it's the biggest accounting firm in the world, Pete Marwick Mitchell. What were you, what were you doing for them? I was a staff auditor. <laughs> staff auditor, really? Yeah. Does that mean we have 10 minutes to go? No, actually, that's a very strange signal. It means actually there's 13 minutes left. I have to start winding down the interview. So in case it's a good question. <laughs> What about a bunch of men? men. men hey. <laughs> what can I do? You have to put up with this when you're in TV. Uh, well, yeah, on TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on TV? Hey, aren't you supposed to be asking the questions? You can ask me a question. No. Well, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Come on, you're quick. Come on. No. Does this you can work? go over and play with that thing Does now, aren't you? <laughs> Does this microphone work? Does this mic work? Well, just tell working? us. You have a new record out, right? A live EP? Yeah, we do have a live EP out. We're going to have an uh, album come out by... Uh, uh... See, when you discuss... By Chris Material yeah. goods. One, that everybody listens to you. <laughs> and it was weird. Oh, let me explain to the audience that I really couldn't hear anything that I was saying. Nor can I now. Did you know what you were saying? <laughs> uh, no, because I really couldn't hear it. The well, here's an opportunity to do some more of that because there's more All butthole right. surface. Let's go! Right. Yeah. I mean, the funny thing is, one of our cameramen was going through a religious conversion. He was born again. <laughs> After the show, he was like, I don't know, Scott, if I can work on your show anymore.
find voice then! Thank me! Into the Rio Grande. Give this wide boy the big shot, Dan. Take me, Mexican. Ben Vaughn too. Did that, that had some kind of a significant... Well, we didn't think our last show was actually going to be our last show. Yeah, was... <laughs> we just felt, uh, we liked Ben so much and it was like 18 or 17 episodes later and uh, he's gone on to be so successful and I just thought it'd be fun to have him back again.